Hello everyone, it's Ryan at Dark Winter Moon in Boston, and today I wanted to share with you some brief thoughts on Beltane, as well as a meditation that you can do alone or in a group setting to get in the spirit of things. Beltane is one of the eight Sabbaths that many witches and pagans celebrate throughout the year, around May 1st in the Northern Hemisphere, and is considered the beginning of summer. It's a time of celebration when life is quickening and lush and holds the promise of the fire, light, and warmth to come. Beltane gets its name from the Celtic god Belenos, who is the god of the sun, light, and healing. Beltane is also the time when the sacred union of goddess and god is celebrated. In pagan and witchcraft theology, this translates as a celebration of the divine spark within each of us that drives us one to another or others to merge spiritually, physically, and romantically together with those that we desire. As the goddess charges us, for behold, all acts of love and pleasure are my rituals. So there is no shame in these unions, nor in the natural human animal desire for others. In fact, not only do we consider it holy, but the goddess directs us to do it. Fire and sex. That is the spark we engender in our Beltane celebrations. This is a time to pursue desires, to create, to release the fetters that we and society place upon us, and delve into the mystery that is desire and fulfillment. So now, I would like to lead you in a meditation that helps you to explore these mysteries for yourself. And as a side note, if you try this meditation and feel that you need a bit more grounding and centering before you move into the weightlessness of the void that I will describe in this meditation, please see my video entitled How to Energetically Shield Yourself. It includes a grounding, centering, energy-raising meditation that should aid you. So now let's begin the meditation. First, I want you to find a comfortable position, preferably seated. If another position is more comfortable, like lying down for instance, then try that. It's most important that whatever position you choose is comfortable to you, but also that you don't fall asleep during the meditation. Now, once you've gotten comfortable, I want you to close your eyes. Now, once your eyes are closed, spend just a few moments breathing normally. Focus on your body and the weight of it pressing downward. Note any sounds around you and then just let them go. They are not distractions. They are just occurrences. They are just part of the experience. Continue to breathe normally for just a few more seconds. Now, breathe in deeply for a count of three, two, three, hold for three counts, two, three, and breathe back out for three counts, two, three. Now breathe in again for three counts, two, three, hold for three, two, three, and breathe out again for three, two, three. And now one more time. Breathe in for three counts. Two, three. Hold for three counts. Two, three. And breathe out for three more counts. Two, three. Now, keeping your eyes closed, imagine yourself floating in a lightless void. You're perfectly weightless, perfectly warm, perfectly relaxed, perfectly content. Spend a few moments like this and just enjoy this feeling. Now, out of this total darkness, you see a tiny pinpoint of light. As you watch it, it starts to grow. It grows larger and larger and larger seeming to move toward you. Now it's grown so large that it envelops you. Out of this light, you feel your feet come down gently on solid earth. And when you look around you, 
you are standing on a forest path, leading away from you into the trees. It's a bright and warm day. The sun dapples through the leaves and branches of the trees. The birds are singing, and the sounds of life fill the woods. The smell of warm earth and green growing things fills the air. Now, I want you to start following this path through the woods. You feel the firm earth beneath your feet, and you hear the crunch of the ground beneath you as you walk slowly forward. The presence of the spirit of the forest is all around you, and it draws you forward. Now, you round a bend in your path, and see that it opens up into a round clearing, circled by ancient and mighty oaks. A feeling of sacred and holy quiet permeates the air. In the center of the circle is a maypole, carved all over with magical and arcane symbols, and hanging from its top are ribbons in every color of the rainbow. Standing next to the maypole is Bellinos, glowing with a soft golden light and smiling at you warmly. His hair is long and flaming red, with intricate braids all over his head and throughout his beard and it is decorated with glittering trinkets and charms. His smile conveys warmth, calm, and peace to you, and you feel the weight of your cares and of the world lighten just by being in his presence. As you approach him, he lifts a ribbon dangling from the maypole and beckons you forward to choose one of your own that speaks to you the most. One ribbon in particular stands out to you, and you move towards it. You reach out and take the ribbon in your hand, and as you do, suddenly you are given a vision of that thing in your life that is preventing you from embracing the light and warmth, the will and power, the excitement and titillation of Beltane. Or you are given a vision of the thing that you need to bring into your life that would kindle these things for you. Spend a few moments exploring this vision and what it means to you. Now, your vision has ended, and you stand once again in the grove with Balanos. He nods warmly at you. He extends his hand to you, and in it is a gift. This gift is a reminder and representation of what you just saw in your vision. You reach out and graciously take the gift from him, bidding him thanks. Now you have something to carry with you back into the world. Any time that you need to feel again the warmth and light of Bellinos, something to spark the flames of passion and will, excitement and titillation within you, you have but to close your eyes and focus on the gift that Bellinos has given you. Now turn away from Bellinos and the maypole back to the path that led you here. Again, you can find yourself walking through the woods with its sounds and smells in the air. You walk back to the place where you first set your foot on this path, and as you reach it, the glowing light again surrounds you completely, then fades to the darkness that you passed through before. You find yourself floating again, perfectly weightless, perfectly warm, perfectly content. Now, slowly, you find yourself again aware of your body. You feel its weight pushing down. 
you hear the familiar sounds of your space around you. Now, keeping your eyes closed, take a few moments to settle. Now breathe in deeply for the count of three. Hold for a count of three. Then release for another count of three. Breathe again in deeply for another count of three. Two, three. Hold for a count of three, two, three, then release for a count of three, two, three, and one more time. Breathe in deeply for a count of three, hold for a count of three, two, three, then release for a count of three, two, three. Now open your eyes. Welcome back. I hope that this meditation has been helpful and inspiring for you. And now you carry the spirit, light, and warmth of Beltane, the gift of Belenos, with you. May it light your way, quicken your desires, and remove the obstacles from your life. So mote it be. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share, and ring the bell so that you can be notified of my next video. I've also linked a video for my new Patreon here and would greatly appreciate your support. Blessed be.